to make two separate episodes. I did pick up everything I wanted to. I'll go to the old base, get the resources, and start moving the locations. Now, on the way back, I may take down all of these signs. It's not a lot of scrap iron, but it's better than nothing. Empty. Okay, let's take one, two, three, four. Let's drink one water. Let's replace what I have used already. And this one, let's leave the rest of the iron that I won't need. And this is also one of the reasons why I'm leaving. Take the sand, the cement is with me. Stupid ass zombies are making me really annoyed. Piss off. I did ask you to piss off nicely. And let's go and start preparing. I have my shovel, I have enough food, I have enough drink. I will drop next to the trader just to get the s concrete mix make um, concrete mix uh, prepared plus the concrete mix I don't think takes a lot of time to make I don't know if this is due to a bug or if it was intended like that however I'm not complaining about it and That's basically all. Mm, let's <sighs> see, how much do you offer? Maximum is... Uh, 180. Mm, how much do you offer for this? 15 for all of... Rebar frames, 82 for all. Sand, 300. Really? This one is 67. This one is 11. Um, I oh, could make a new. Apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you're looking for. No, you're actually kind. I do not expect that from a vendor in this game. Okay, let's make concrete mix. I have one K. Did I have another stack? Mm, I don't think I had another stack. Okay, let's take the rest of these. Let's take the rest of these. One more, please. I'd like even numbers. I should be putting in more wood. So let's take. 700 with us. Put to 93 more. One more, please. So 550 are left, and I have 110 with me. Thank you. I have exactly 1000 of the concrete mix, so I can upgrade 100 blocks. I, it will need 22 minutes to process all of this. I can't afford to stay that long. So, let's just go. We can always come back soon. Uh, when I will be preparing the foundation of my base, I will be using wood. So, on my way there, guess what? I get to chop down some trees. Mm, I take it I won't need more than 2,000, but with this hatchet, it's not a problem, even if it is more. 
per one tree I get 200 or so for the fully grown. For these I get a little bit under the 200. So the gain is quite good. Stamina doesn't degrade too fast. So everything should be fine. Is my food uh, it's again under the 200? Under the 100, which is quite amazing. I think my guy is the hungriest character in seven days to die. I should have maybe taken the hoe as well and I should have taken the what you call it the hoe and the corn to make the seeds the blueberries as well and just plant them right away in the new base Okay, uh, 20 more arrows, I will not need 20 more arrows, however I will take it with me. This one has been looted already. How much? 1.5k. Like I said, until I get there, I can easily scrap up to 1000 wood. Getting a fire axe really helps you out a lot in this game. Okay, uh, let's go to the candy cane. How is that not a headshot? I might be getting a little bit sloppy in my old age. But we are already here. We need two more trees and on the way down we will get two more trees. Then I will be picking the central location for the foundation. In the foundation I will be leaving a few holes so that I can make stairs down. I don't really want to make um, just ladders down. It's not cool. And I think I will be digging it all out using the shovel. Let's take a little bit more. So this is all flatlands. I will be making a large base here. Now the base that I will be making here will not immediately be used to defend the horse because it will take a lot of resources to maintain. This will be my base base, so my go-to place. And because of that, I will be cleaning out all of the trees in this area. Where were we? Right, I was pinpointing the exact location of the center of the base. So the exact location, I will remove this, the exact center is here. Empty, untouched. Unfortunately, these birds' nests will not stay. I will be removing them. It's not by choice, but they will interfere with the building process. Okay, another airdrop. And this time it's near my mine, so... Save waypoint. Airdrop. Free. Now that I have the airdrop free, I can remove the airdrop too. And let us see. Remove this one. This is a little bit uneven, so let's go this way. 
Should be about right. Let's go a little bit more this way. Like this. Yeah. Mm, actually, let's start here. Okay. Now this will be ground zero. Okay. Ground zero. Let's start digging our base. So, one, two. Hmm. Okay, sure. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. Now repeat one. Wait a second. Okay. Six hundred would be the one fifty if I do remember correctly. Yes, I do. Now the basement for the aesthetics and the base uh, and the foundation will be made out of flagstone. Okay, stop it. I need eight here. One. Two. Three. Four, four, now this is five, this is six, this is seven, and this is eight. Now connecting across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Okay. In this part, I will be placing the flagstone now. Sometimes it hurts being a genius. But I am not one, so I would not know. Doing stupid mistakes like that and placing a uh, block wrong just costs you resources. So I recommend if you're smart, just do it slowly. Don't rush things. And don't do it like me, definitely. Let's dig out the inside first, where the floors will be go going. And then we will decide which type of floors do we want. When I reach the 200 mark on the flagstones, I will be canceling the production. Or I could just... Yeah, I can do it now. Okay, I need 27 more, and the rest will be used for upgrades. 
plus for everything else I may need. Okay, not much left. Now in the basement I will be placing my land claim block on the first level. On the old place I just placed it on the outer wall because I didn't have enough time. On this base, however, I do have all the time that I can possibly need. I will be making some flagstone arches also to make it aesthetically more appealing. That was really spooky. That literally made me shut up and scared the shit out of me. Why did that plant fiber just fall like that? Okay, let's go. Fall down and break. Thank you. This game actually has bugs that are more spooky than the zombies themselves. In one game that I watched on the internet, now I do not know who was playing it exactly. I watched too many people like Games for Kicks, Game Edge, Star Snipe, Cage, uh, Capo. One of them had like a door that got bugged and was opening itself and closing. He could not stop the bug at all. So we called it the ghost door in the chat and it was honestly awesome. Like if the doors can open and close by themselves, uh, that would mean ghosts exist in the game and would give it a new level. It is just a zombie game, but for the horror survival genre, opening and closing doors are spooky. this okay Okay, last four pieces. Let's do this. And now officially my foundation is laid out. Let's upgrade these. Then it's time to set the rebar frames. I will need to decide which way the door will be facing. I do think I will let it face to the street. I may even make some gravel to lead up to it, so look the same as this one. Okay, the outlining foundation is all upgraded flagstone. I do like it. It will be aesthetically pleasing. No! God freaking damn it, no! Do not waste resources, you idiot. I apologize for my bad language. Uh, 
flagstone block, one more. I did a stupid mistake that I overclicked. Now I know some people can say it can happen to anyone. I'm really, really annoyed when it happens to me. And usually it takes three clicks to upgrade, so I got complacent and lazy. Come on, just one arrow can to kill you. Free can, however. Okay. Now. Flagstone stairs. Mm, iron stairs. So, let me get this straight. Railing left needs the cutter. The right one doesn't. The what the heck? Okay, so let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make a full circle. Just so we have something to stand on after we prepare the wall. So one, two, three, and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So many zombies spawning. Okay, I need to deal with them so that they don't destroy my concrete. this one is going in a direction that I really don't care about I can live let him be three and four one two three and four three and four mm. I would like my door facing this way uh, you could have survived the idea One shot at him if I I hit him in the head and one shot at him. One, two. One, two, three, three. Can it stand? It can. Okay, let's prepare like this. Nice. The rebar frames do not have a high weight. So probably that's why it can stand easily on its own. Let's finish up this part. Then we need to upgrade all of this and check how much we have left. I do not think we will have a lot of concrete mix left. Mm, maybe we will have barely enough for this part. Part around the doors needs to be upgraded as fast as possible. And I wish I had steel doors already, but I do not. So this will have to do. How much do I have left? 470. Yeah, I will not have enough to finish up the roof part. However, for now, this will be enough for the basic. Okay. Secure door. Mm -hmm. Let's upgrade it. Maximum level. Thank you. Now... 
let's see. Mm, let's make flagstone stairs. I did not make them yet. Flagstone stairs. I will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them to get to the next level of the building. So let's replace them with these. Uh, I will be okay. Yeah, I will be doing it like this. I will make some railings so I don't fall down. And I will make sure to go home before 8 in the game. So I don't get caught here overnight and zombies knocking on my expensive uh, walls. Shoot, 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 wrong, 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 never mind, nobody saw that, let's make one more flexion block, okay, now this place is not secure yet, until I get the rest of the rebar that I need, I need to get the what's it called pillars so that the zombie dogs cannot go through because at this moment the zombie dogs can still pass through this location okay let's dig two more deep here now I can place these and I can place this Now I have to remember. This one is going four deep. Actually, two deep. Okay, up. And the stairs. Good. Good. Okay, lovely. Now, this will be the basement level. I can go out by one, two blocks only. However, that will be all I need. The first level of this base, can I make railing now? Railing, metal railing. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is all I need. I will need the metal railing to make this place secure and to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I do not wish to make the flat black iron railing. I like the met metal railing more. Thin metal railing, it looks ugly. Okay. Let's go two. I need two first. Okay. I have one torch. Remove the quick waypoint. Move it here. Save waypoint. Castle base. Yes, this will be a castle. Okay, and the first of the reinforced concrete has already dried. Let's put the rebar frames and use the rest of our concrete. So, on top of the door, this part should be finished first. Ah, 
how. This is also why I need the railing. Mm. Now each and every one of the levels will be made out of flagstone above this one. I do not think I will need more of the concrete for the top levels. They should be secure enough by themselves. Okay, let's do the sides first. And if I'm lucky enough to have any spare, which I probably will not have, I can finish up the back part. Okay, this one. And I fell down again. This one. And I have how many? 30 left. One and one and in the middle. Why in the middle? Don't ask me because I don't even know myself. I only did it because I said, why not? Okay. Now, I just need one more. Three seconds left. And then I will be moving back. Okay. The stairs that will be leading upwards will actually be just a single column. Now, this is the first one. One and two. One and two. And one more will be free. Let's make those. Flagstone stairs. One, two, three, four. Let's go. One and two and three. And last one is four. Excellent. So when this all dries up, I will be making this level. This will be a real house. This will not be a point of defense. It will be the last point of defense if worse comes to worse. But I hope I will not need to use it for defense at all. I will be having two lines of walls. Uh, outer wood palisade, uh, inner upgraded flagstone wall and the hardcore base. Uh, the hardcore base will be hardcore, I hope. No pun intended, but I hope it will be durable enough so nobody can break in. I will have a double layer of um, metal spikes on the outer side. Ah, uh, horde. I don't want to engage in any conversation or anything with you guys. I just want to get to the trader before he closes. I need to put more things into the crafting queue. And I need to break... Okay, let... Let's go in fast. Cement mixer. I have all of the... This one that I need. Cement, 426, sure. Take all of this. Forged iron. None. Okay. F iron bars centered. Oh, I have no clay. Clay is the issue at the moment. Okay, let's put this one in and take these out. In this situation... Hmm... We can stop this. Rebar pillar. Rebar frame pillar 100. Just pillar. Wet concrete pillar 50. I need seven. Pillar. Now let's see. 7, 14, 21, 21 plus 5, 26. Let's hope I did my math right. Leave this. 
and let's go to the old base for tonight. And when I arrive there, we will be calling this episode quits. Thank you all for watching once again. And I will see you tomorrow when I will start my upgrade of the base. Thirsty little fucker. Ah, home sweet home. The land of the free. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.